Come closer, step into the stillness. Let the noise of the day fade away. Let the world and its worries recede. Allow yourself to be enveloped by the quiet grandeur of the night. I want to tell you a story, not of kings or empires, of earthly triumphs or human follies, but of something far older, something far grander. It's a story whispered across billions of years, a tale etched in the very fabric of space-time, carried on waves of light from the edge of creation, a message traveling eons to reach us now. We live on a small blue marble, a fragile oasis of life, spinning in a vast cosmic ocean, adrift in an immensity we can barely comprehend. We look up and wonder, are we alone in this cosmic expanse? What is our place in this grand design? Where did all this come from? What is our purpose? For most of history, the universe answered with silence, an unnerving quiet that echoed the depths of our own ignorance. We built telescopes, powerful eyes to pierce the darkness, listened for signals, straining our ears for any sign of companionship, and learned much, charting the stars and unravelling the laws of physics. But the deepest mysteries remained, stubbornly out of reach. The first moments of the universe, the violent birth of existence, the forging of the first elements, the ignition of the first stars, were shrouded in darkness, hidden behind a veil of time and distance. But today, August 4th, 2025, that silence has been broken, shattered by a whisper from the void. A new message has arrived. A delicate pattern of light, a cosmic symphony played out across the eons, captured by our most ambitious creation, a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable curiosity. This message is a chapter of the cosmic story we've never read before, a glimpse into the universe's infancy. It invites us to see the universe as it once was, in its chaotic infancy, a time of unimaginable energy and boundless potential. Let's embark on this journey together a voyage of discovery into the heart of creation, listening to what the universe is telling us, deciphering its ancient language. This is our story, the story of the cosmos, and of us, inextricably linked to the fate of the universe. The universe has just revealed a breathtaking new piece of the puzzle, and it's time for us to put it in place. To understand this message, we must meet the messenger of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. Floating a million miles from Earth, it's our most powerful tool for peering into space and time. Unlike Hubble, which sees mostly visible light, Webb sees in infrared, revealing what's hidden behind cosmic dust. Its massive, gold-coated mirror collects faint light from the most distant objects. Gold isn't just beautiful. It's perfect for reflecting infrared. Shielded from the sun by a tennis court-sized sunshield, Webb's instruments stay cold, essential for detecting faint heat. This lonely sentinel waits, listens and watches, and what it's sending back is changing everything. How does a telescope, an instrument designed to observe the present, become a time machine capable of peering into the distant past? It's a question that challenges our perception of time and space. The answer lies in understanding a fundamental aspect of the universe, the speed of light. Light, despite its incredible velocity, doesn't travel instantaneously. It takes time to traverse the vast distances of the cosmos. When you look at the sun, that brilliant orb in the sky, you're not seeing it as it is right now. You see it as it was approximately eight minutes ago, the time it takes for sunlight to reach our eyes. This principle extends to everything we observe in the universe. The farther we look, the further back in time we see. Telescopes become our time machines, allowing us to witness events that occurred millions, even billions of years in the past. Consider the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbour. The light we receive from it today embarked on its journey two and a half million years ago, so any image we capture of Andromeda is essentially a two and a half million year old photograph, a glimpse into its distant past. The James Webb Space Telescope takes this concept to the extreme, pushing the boundaries of our observational capabilities. It's not just seeing galaxies millions of light years away, but billions of light years away. Peering into an era when the universe was young, a time of primordial galaxies and nascent cosmic structures. As the universe expands, the light from these distant objects undergoes a phenomenon known as redshift, 
where its wavelengths stretch into the infrared spectrum, a region of light that Webb is uniquely equipped to observe. This stretching provides valuable information about the distance and age of these ancient light sources. When Webb points at the darkest sky, seemingly empty patches of space, it's not seeing nothingness. Instead, it peers through time's veil, capturing ancient, incredibly faint and stretched out light that has traveled for billions of years to reach us. It sees past obscuring dust clouds, those cosmic veils that hide so much from our view, revealing the birth of the first cosmic structures, the very building blocks of the universe we see today. In a way, it's the ultimate archaeological tool. Digging in light, not dirt. Excavating the secrets of the universe's past through the careful analysis of ancient photons. With Webb, we witness the universe's infancy, observing the cosmos in its earliest stages of development. We see the first flickers of creation, the ignition of the first stars, the formation of the first galaxies. And we're just beginning to understand what it all means to piece together the story of our cosmic origins. Now we arrive at the heart of our story, a moment of profound discovery that reshapes our understanding of the cosmos. Today, the incredible team behind the James Webb Space Telescope announced a discovery that's truly mind-blowing, the unveiling of the cosmic dawn galaxies. These are some of the earliest galaxies ever observed. These aren't the grand majestic spirals we often picture when we think of galaxies. Instead, they are relatively small and compact, clumpy in appearance, and intensely bright, almost unbelievably luminous galaxies, originating from a time when the universe was just a cosmic infant, a mere 300 to 400 million years old. This is an epoch known as the Cosmic Dawn. It's akin to seeing a crystal-clear photograph of someone who's lived for a century, but capturing them as a toddler, offering a glimpse into their earliest formative years. What's truly astonishing is the unexpected maturity and brightness of these galaxies, far exceeding what our current theoretical models predicted. It's a genuine surprise for the scientific community. Instead of finding just a handful of faint, barely detectable galaxies, Webb has revealed a multitude of them, significantly larger and brighter than anyone anticipated. The universe, once shrouded in complete darkness, transitioned to a blaze of glory in what can only be described as a cosmic heartbeat. This groundbreaking discovery forces us to fundamentally rethink the established timeline of cosmic evolution and the processes that shaped the early universe. These remarkable galaxies played a pivotal role in ending the cosmic dark ages, reanizing the universe and ultimately making it transparent to light, allowing us to see across vast cosmic distances. They are, without a doubt, the pioneers of everything that followed in the universe's grand story, the seeds from which all subsequent cosmic structures grew. Why does this matter? Because these ancient galaxies are our origin story. Every grand galaxy, including the Milky Way, was built from these primordial building blocks. By studying them, we see our galaxy's ancestors and the crucibles where the first heavy elements were forged. Webb detects their chemical fingerprints, revealing how quickly the universe was seeded for life. Their existence challenges our understanding of dark matter and galaxy formation. If galaxies formed this early, maybe our theories need revision. And if the ingredients for life appeared so soon, the story of life may be far older and more widespread than we imagined. These faint red dots connect us to the very beginning. Close your eyes. Picture the night sky, familiar, serene, invisible light. Now imagine seeing heat instead of light. The darkness glows faintly. Dust clouds become translucent. Behind them, fiery nurseries of new stars appear. This is the universe in infrared, the vision of Webb. Where Hubble saw dark towers, Webb reveals thousands of hidden, brilliant stars. The universe is alive, dynamic and full of creation. Point Webb at the darkest sky and the blackness dissolves into a tapestry of glowing galaxies. Among them are the cosmic dawn galaxies, tiny red embers over 13 billion years old. You're not just looking at space, but across an ocean of time. Webb has revealed a universe just waking up, and we are witnessing its first light. This discovery isn't an end, it's a beginning. 
Every answer Webb gives brings new questions. If galaxies form this fast, what about the supermassive black holes at their centers? Scientists worldwide will study this data for years, refining theories and planning new observations. Science is a conversation, not a decree. Webb's mission is just starting. It's also studying exoplanet atmospheres, star birth and our own solar system. Each area promises its own revolutions. This is just one step on a much longer journey. The universe is vast and our curiosity is what propels us forward. The journey has only just begun. We began with ancient questions whispered under the stars. Now we have data, light from the beginning of time. We glimpse answers more awe-inspiring than any myth. These missions are about the human spirit, our drive to wonder, to overcome, to achieve. The universe asks for patience and ingenuity and offers us perspective. When we look at Webb's images, we see billions of years in a single frame. It reminds us our problems are small and that we are all crewmates on this tiny planet. So keep asking questions, keep being curious. The story of the universe is still being written and for the first time we can read its earliest pages. Let us keep looking up together.